Wi-Fi security cameras are becoming more and more commonplace as home security products. So one of the newer trends is taking security cameras and disguising it in everyday objects. Hey folks, here at OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of this HD Wi-Fi camera disguised in an Apple Lightning charging dock. It sells on Amazon for under a hundred dollars. It's a little bit expensive, but if you consider that it's both a charger, a stand, in addition to a full 1080p camera, the price point is a bit more justified. So the company here also produces these spy action cameras in the form of wall power chargers, as well as other things such as lights. So they embed these uh, into, again, everyday appliances and electronics around your house so no one can really tell that it's there. Taking a look at some of the features on here, you can see there's two-way audio, which means that there's a microphone on here and that you can also control it using the smartphone app. It works with both iPhone and also with Android devices. So you can tap on the phone to talk through the dock. So there's a speaker here so that uh, whoever is in the house can hear you. It also works with 24 hours because there's an infrared night mode, which works fairly well. It's a wide angle lens. And you can see here that it's, it comes in a few variants in terms of colors. Uh, it can be motion activated. So once it detects that, it will start to give you a push notification through the app. The app itself is free. And again, it works as a regular lightning charger. So it's a smart charger that works with any iPhone, iPod touch, or iPad, and it won't overheat or overcharge your device either. On the very top here, we have an instruction manual. You can see that it says the company logo, uh, best eye quick start guide. And in here, it documents the various ways to set up the camera in both Chinese and English. Here's the application that you can install to download things and everything is in full color as far as opening it up and also adding cameras. You can add multiple cameras as well by scanning the QR code below the camera itself to enter it into the app. And it's fairly wide angle. It's not as wide as 180 degrees, but it's roughly 100 degrees or so, uh, which makes it good enough for rooms. One of the concerns that I have, though, is the placement of this because as a dock, it's going to be on your desk. So it's not as elevated as some other security cameras might be. Inside here, there's also access to a little... Uh, it's a pen that you can tap on to remove micro SD cards and accessories. Here's a wall outlet. There's a standard micro USB cable used for power, and you need to you need to have it plugged in at all times for it to be operated. And that's basically it. Let's take a closer look at the design of the spy dock next. So you can see here that it's made out of this plastic material, it's polycarbonate. The front is actually kind of shiny, and that's where the lens is disguised behind this mirror surface. It actually looks fairly convincing. It's very lightweight and seems very similar to any other cheap dock that you might have. So the very top here features just a lightning port where you can reversibly pop in your phone or tablet to charge it. Um, and charging rates are decent. It's an average charger. It's not Qualcomm's quick charge enabled, but it does charge up your devices just fine. And the back here is still made out of plastic. So I do wish there was some type of grip to prevent any dust or damage, but I think it's more meant as a, a product where you use just as the camera rather than for a daily charger, since uh, that seems to be, you know, the main purpose is that camera here. The back does feature a few ventilation grills. This is also a speaker. And finally, there's a micro USB for power, an LED indicator. And then this is where the uh, tiny micro SD card is located. It looks like one is pre-installed as part of the value. And I have a 16 gigabyte version pre-installed. It supports up to 128 gigabytes. Once the memory is reached, it will continuously loop and uh, record over uh, pre-existing content. And it will save it once motion has been detected. So that's a cool feature. There's also some basic advertisements that you can kind of take out if you want to, uh, code information for adding the camera onto the app. And finally, there's a rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk. And that's so basically. indeed, it's extremely shiny. You can see it's a mirror-like surface that catches and glares just to prevent people from looking too closely at it. But you can kind of make out the location of the camera lens and some of the sensors as far as proximity and uh, infrared are, are located. But you can kind of see a circular pattern over here. But that's essentially it. Everything else is actually really well hidden. So unlike the uh, desk lamp that we reviewed that also has a Wi-Fi hidden security camera to it, this is a lot more discreet. And uh, overall, it the, the fit and the build is actually pretty good. So it makes for a pretty compelling uh, charger that you might have lying around on your house. Right, or so on the, the app store, it's called B-S-T-E-Y-E, -E, and it's, again, it's a free download. It's pretty easy to use, and it's actually fairly simplistic, not the most advanced software, but it, it works. First time that you open up the app, you'll be prompted to create a quick account, and afterwards, you get a preview of the camera. 
um, once you've linked it up using the code on the bottom. And you can then capture an image as well as record some video. I'll show you guys some video samples that I've managed to take with this in a few moments. But there's also, again, the aforementioned ability for you to tap to listen or to communicate using kind of a walkie-talkie feature there. And you can also turn the light, which is the infrared light, on or off. Uh, and it works pretty well. I can also kind of flip the screen around for a different view. So everything is fairly intuitive. It didn't really crash on me, so the app itself is fairly consistent. And as long as you've synced it up using Wi-Fi, I can take this phone anywhere with me onto any other Wi-Fi network, and I can still monitor, of course, everything. So hopefully that gave you guys a good idea of what the video experience and performance is like. It does work pretty well. Again, the main feature here is not for charging. It does work for charging uh, if you plug it into the wall, but uh, again, that security camera is the main feature. Um, the position of the camera is actually decent. I popped it onto a traditional desk and it still captured uh, most of the room that I wanted to and captured people's faces just fine as they walked into the room. So that it wasn't a huge deal uh, as I originally thought since the elevation would be a little lower than maybe if you put it on a bookshelf. But otherwise, it works really well. It is quite discreet, and it's a good way to disguise a security camera in the form of an everyday appliance and maybe have a two-in-one utility attached to it. It's not the best uh, security camera in the world when it comes to the quality of the video content, but it's good enough for day-to-day -day usage. The app could be a little bit more refined, but most of the core features and functions from motion detection to recording video directly on here to storing images and using it to communicate with someone in the house all of those features worked without any problems. So you can check out more details in our official written review, but if you're looking for a more clever, uh, more disguised and discreet uh, security camera, then definitely take a closer look at this Best Eye uh, Lightning Charger Dock IP security camera. Thanks for watching here at OS Review.